I really believe that this is the beginning of a you know 10 year kind of super cycle and we're very in the very early innings of this. Um, I think Brian, you know, I used to say that uh, I thought the AI TAM just for, you know, silicon accelerators sort of our piece of the business was going to be, you know, 500 billion dollars and some people thought boy, that was a big number. And, and now maybe I've underestimated that number. And we have uh, a lot of clear um, you know, demand across the world you know, for this um, infrastructure. Artificial intelligence isn't just transforming industries. It's reshaping the global economy at a pace we've never witnessed before. What started as a software revolution has now evolved into a full-blown hardware arms race, where the world's most powerful companies are battling to secure the computing backbone that will power AI for the next decade. In her latest interview, AMD CEO Lisa Su called it the beginning of a 10-year AI supercycle, a statement that perfectly captures the magnitude of what's happening right now. This isn't just about faster chips or smarter models. This is about the creation of a new digital infrastructure, data centers, power grids, and semiconductor supply chains, capable of handling trillions of AI operations every second. Lisa Su revealed that AMD and OpenAI are collaborating on a 6 gigawatt AI infrastructure project, one that will generate tens of billions in revenue and deploy millions of GPUs worldwide. But here's what's even more striking. She admitted that the demand for AI compute is so massive that NVIDIA alone, or even NVIDIA and AMD together, cannot meet it. That means there's room, massive room, for other players to rise, from memory makers to chip fabricators all fueling what could be the greatest industrial expansion of the century. So in today's video, we'll uncover three companies that are quietly building the foundation of this AI revolution. These are the firms manufacturing the silicon, storing the data, and delivering the power behind the AI systems that will soon touch every part of our lives. They may not always make the headlines, but without them, the AI future simply couldn't exist. Let's begin. First on the list is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company or TSMC, ticker symbol TSM, the world's most important company you rarely hear about. While NVIDIA, AMD, and Apple are the names everyone knows, it's TSMC that actually builds their chips. In fact, over 90% of the world's most advanced semiconductors, the ones used in AI servers, iPhones, and autonomous vehicles, are manufactured by TSMC. After six consecutive quarters of double-digit revenue growth, TSMC's recent numbers have been staggering. 54% year-over-year revenue growth in the June 2025 quarter and near-record margins. Yet despite its dominance, many investors still underestimate it due to geopolitical fears surrounding Taiwan. But that's where opportunity lies. TSMC isn't just an AI growth story, it's a dividend compounder hiding in plain sight. With a payout ratio below 45% and dividend growth averaging over 15% per year, TSMC delivers both growth and income, a rare combination in the semiconductor space. What's even more compelling is its roadmap. TSMC's upcoming 2 nanometer process technology, set for mass production in 2026, will redefine efficiency and performance for AI chips. Meanwhile, its overseas fabs in Arizona and Japan are diversifying production and reducing regional risk. These expansions may compress margins short term but strengthen global stability long term, a trade-off the market is slowly beginning to appreciate. As Lisa Su noted, the AI build-out requires millions of GPUs and enormous compute capacity. And every single one of those GPUs, whether it comes from NVIDIA, AMD, or another supplier, depends on TSMC's precision engineering. This isn't just a supplier, it's the invisible infrastructure behind the entire AI economy. And while others chase hype, TSMC keeps quietly doing what it does best powering the most advanced technology on Earth, one silicon wafer at a time. Transitioning from chip fabrication to memory, the second company at the heart of the AI supercycle is Micron Technology Incorporated, ticker symbol MU. While GPUs get all the headlines, AI systems can't function without fast, efficient memory. That's where Micron comes in. Its high bandwidth memory, HBM, and NAND flash chips are the essential fuel that keeps AI models running, training, and scaling at massive speed. After a tough 2023, Micron has staged a dramatic comeback. Fiscal year 2025 results show revenue up 49% year-over-year to $37.4 billion and margins soaring to 41%. Its DRAM business, which includes HBM products, grew an incredible 69% year-over-year and now makes up nearly 80% of total revenue. These chips are the backbone of AI training servers and data centers used by OpenAI, 
Microsoft, and Meta. But what's really exciting right now is a new unexpected tailwind, a global NAND shortage. Years of underinvestment in flash memory, coupled with companies redirecting capital toward AI chips, have left supply tight. That means stronger pricing power and higher margins ahead for Micron. Even Fison's CEO recently warned that NAND supply could remain constrained for the next decade, a bullish setup for Micron's profitability. CEO Sanjay Merotra has made it clear, DRAM and non-markets are both entering multi-year upcycles, driven by AI adoption and data center growth. Micron's next-generation HBM4 chips, set for launch in 2026, will deliver even faster data speeds and lower power consumption, perfect for the expanding AI workloads across cloud and enterprise customers. In short, Micron is no longer playing defense. It's leading one of the most critical segments of the semiconductor supply chain. As AI compute demand explodes, Micron's memory solutions are becoming just as vital as GPUs themselves. The company may not have the spotlight, but make no mistake, it's one of the quiet powerhouses driving the AI revolution from within. And finally, the third company reshaping the AI landscape from the front lines is Advanced Micro Devices Incorporated, ticker symbol AMD. Following a landmark partnership with OpenAI, AMD has cemented its position as a top-tier AI powerhouse and possibly the only company capable of directly challenging NVIDIA's dominance. The deal is enormous, a 6-gigawatt AI infrastructure collaboration representing tens of billions in potential revenue over the next several years. This partnership goes far beyond a traditional supply agreement. It's a strategic alliance that aligns AMD's success directly with OpenAI's growth. OpenAI now holds warrants for up to 160 million AMD shares, giving it a vested interest in AMD's long-term performance. In return, AMD becomes a co-architect of the very systems powering the next generation of AI models. Technologically, AMD is firing on all cylinders. Its MI350 and upcoming MI450 accelerators are built to deliver world-class inference performance and compete directly with NVIDIA's Blackwell GPUs. The company's integration of two nanometer technology and rack scale systems will enhance energy efficiency and scalability, two critical factors for the next era of AI compute. Beyond that, AMD's data center revenue continues to climb. Its adaptive computing division, thanks to the Xilinx acquisition, is gaining traction in robotics and automotive, and its AI software ecosystem is growing fast. What makes this even more impressive is that Lisa Su and her team have built AMD into a company that partners with nearly every major cloud provider, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Amazon AWS, and now OpenAI. This diversification gives AMD a powerful edge, reducing dependency on any single client and securing its role as a core player in AI infrastructure. In Lisa Su's words, this is the beginning of a 10-year AI supercycle. AMD's execution so far suggests she's not exaggerating. While others fight for market share, AMD is helping design the next generation of computing itself, standing shoulder to shoulder with the world's most important AI innovators. As we stand at the dawn of this new era, one truth is undeniable. The AI revolution has moved beyond code and into concrete. The companies building the physical backbone of intelligence, TSMC, Micron, and AMD, are shaping the next decade of technological progress. Lisa Su's prediction of a 10-year AI supercycle isn't a forecast, it's already happening. From Taiwan's precision foundries to America's memory fabs and AI accelerators, the foundation of tomorrow's economy is being laid in silicon. These firms aren't chasing hype, they're constructing the infrastructure that will define everything from autonomous systems to digital economies. The AI race is not about who has the smartest algorithm, it's about who builds the strongest foundation. And as investors and innovators, witnessing this transformation unfold in real time is nothing short of historic. The AI decade has begun, and these are the companies leading the charge.